you know, Lane's made it very clear by pointing out the data that carbohydrates aren't going to disrupt your ability to burn fat. Right, it's about keeping cal calories in. Yeah, it's check. calories in, calories, calories out. Yeah. Lane is very specific about that, and yeah. I think he's absolutely right. You know, the, there's so many people that have these ideas that if you eat carnivore, you burn fat because of no, you eat less calories. Yeah, you get satisfied quicker. You eat less calories. Well, and I I have one idea that I'm hoping someone will test, which is when you're on a low carbohydrate diet or you're doing intermittent fasting. One thing that's very clear is that your adrenaline and nor noradrenaline, epinephrine levels are higher. And one of the things that you see is that people are more alert, and when they're more alert, they move more. And that brings us back to NEAT, this mm. non-exercise-induced thermogenesis. As you said, you eat a big bowl of pasta, and it tends to make you feel kind of sedentary. Oh, yeah. Whereas when you just eat meat, you can go, go, go. Yeah. I, I um, uh, ran into Jordan Peterson not that long ago, and you know he's really big. He does three steaks a day, and he, not just for his age. He, he looks very fit. And he feels strong. Now, I, I don't know what he's doing in the realm of training. I don't training. think he lifts weights. I exactly. So yeah. I don't think he has to replenish glycogen the same way many yeah. people do. But I think for people who are doing mostly cardiovascular exercise, some resistance training, I think he does some, the, the carnivore thing may work very well. Um, but I think that also just being a mobile moving person. And, you know, I, this thing about NEAT was discovered because they noted that people that were very thin tend to move a lot. It was a reverse – it was kind of correlation in both directions, whereas people who are larger tend to be pretty sedentary and they move slower. I think the, one of the best examples online at least of someone who's on a pure carnivore diet who's very active is Sean Baker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Sean Baker is just – I mean he regularly posts his workouts. He's 56 years old. I mean he's doing heavy deadlifts and he, he holds world records for rowing. I mean, he's like a serious power-based athlete who only eats steak. Mm -hmm. That's all he eats. He doesn't incorporate organs. He doesn't do anything else. I mean, I don't know if he's taking any vitamins or minerals, but, I mean, most of what that guy eats is steak. He looks he looks super fit. Great. He's yeah. very fit. I know a number of um, uh, police officers and firefighters are doing that now because a lot of their job, especially police officers, is sedentary, and then it's go, go, go. Mm -hmm. um, and... They, they seem to like that. There's a study on intermittent fasting that was done by Sachin Panda's lab out of the Salk on firefighters that because their schedules are crazy. And that being a night owl and then swing shifts is just terrible, wreaks havoc on your metabolic system. I mean, it's just one of the quickest ways to make yourself ill, but we need shift workers, right? Uh, thank you, shift workers. So the, the, the intermittent fasting and these more, let's just call them elimination diets where it's mainly carnivore, really help them those communities stay fitter and more active. There's a guy on Instagram. I I don't I don't know his name, but I love his police posts. He has he shows yes, us. yeah amazing. Yeah, I follow him. And he sometimes puts up this post. I love these ones. Uh, I do see how intense that job is, and like wow. And then, but he'll post like supplements, and it's a steak. You know, he's just mm -hmm. all about protein training and the job. Yeah. You know, in other aspects of life, he keeps quiet. Um, uh, for good reason, of course, but. It's clear that for people that need to be active or just are, or who are sitting a ton, that the carnivore diet might be a great thing. And now I'm not talking about the carnivore fruit, meat, honey thing. Again, apologies, Paul. I'm not saying that's bad. But these are people who are mainly just doing meat. Yeah. And they just feel like their appetite is more regular. And cops, you kind of see it's a binary distribution. They're either really fit or they're really unfit. Yeah. And, it, and listen, it's got to be an incredibly hard job. Firefighters, the fitness part, it seems a little bit more aligned to like working out at the station and things like that. 